Reading can be slow and uninteresting if the right techniques are not used. I will be explaining the right method to use in order to study effectively. Develop a system for taking brief and concise notes. You can organize your point through the use of mnemonics and summarization. You can click on the link above to watch my video on the types of mnemonics you can use. You should also review and revise your notes regularly. You can highlight important points that could serve as a trigger to your brain in the future. Identify high priority tasks and focus on them first. You can also apply the Eisenhower box method which helps you to be more productive. You can click on the link above to watch my video on the Eisenhower box method. Clearly define what you need to accomplish in every study section and how you plan on getting it done. Break down larger tasks into smaller manageable goals. You can do this by making a list of subjects or topics you plan on reading in a period of time and when you plan on finishing them. Choose a quiet and comfortable place to study. If you find yourself easily distracted by noise, the use of noise cancelling headphones have proven to be very effective. Turn off notifications on your phone or keep it in another room to minimize distractions. Engage actively with the material, such as the use of practical experience, group study, teaching the content to someone or vice versa use of flashcards. You can also practice retrieval by testing yourself on the material. Always learn to find similarities and a way to link points together. It helps in your ability to understand effectively. Use productivity tools and study apps to organize your schedules and tasks. Also consider the use of note-taking apps, online resources, digital textbooks, YouTube videos, pictures and audios, which can all add to an interesting reading experience. Always choose a time when your brain is most active to read. It can be in the early morning hours, night time or noon. Avoid multitasking as it can make reading overwhelming and reduce overall productivity. A timetable or study routine will be of great importance in helping you manage your time. You can also apply the Pomodoro technique which can help you to manage your time more efficiently. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and see you in my next video.